Now here's an example of a flexible line. This one happens to have a banjo fitting on the end. And you can see where it gets its name from the banjo fitting. It sort of looks like a banjo. I mean, it's larger at the end, it's round, and then, you know, comes off what would be the neck of the banjo. This one comes with a couple of brand new copper washers, which are critically important that we replace when we put this back in. The other thing about this line is, is that this, is, this has got a, a piece right here to hold this thing in a very specific position. And so you can't just use this on, on any type of caliper. Now, I, I do have an example of a caliper here. Um, and this w might actually, you can see it actually kind of fits in place. These two don't go together. But to give you an example, and th in fact, this, is, uh, this caliper here, you can see they've given me a couple of new copper washers as well uh, for replacement of um, uh, when I put the caliper in place. If I'm replacing just this line because it, it was either damaged uh, or um, um, got old or I had some other concern, uh, one of the things that I'm going to do on this is you can see it's got a, it's got a spot to bolt right here, probably usually to a strut or some other part of the suspension. And then this end is going to, where the steel line comes in, is going to uh, also be uh, positioned on the vehicle itself. And as I replace this type of a hose, in this case here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this end first, and then I'm going to mount this end on the caliper. and probably bolt it in here because I want to make sure that it fits nice without any kinks or anything else. If I had the type of flex line that was threaded into a caliper, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have both ends free. I'm going to thread this into my caliper first and then hand tighten it. And then I'm going to hook this onto the strut assembly. I'm going to hook this end up to the metal line and, and position it into the vehicle so that, again, I don't get kinking of this line because that will damage it after a period of time. So a couple of uh, a very uh, uh, quick tips there on, on replacement of flex lines. Uh, be very conscientious about uh, how you remove these things. Uh, again, in, there's a lot of areas of the country where it comes time to remove this line from this line, and one may have to use a torch to kind of warm that up just a little bit. Uh, we get some rust in there and to break it free. If you do use a torch, be very careful. Um, I have seen many of these lines, even disconnected, I've seen them pop where they blow off because, you know, I'm heating, there's brake fluid up inside there, and, and especially one that, by the way, is connected, and that will blow off. Well, if that blows off, I'm just, uh, I am spraying boiling brake fluid all over the place, myself included. That is no fun. Uh, so you, you want to be very, very conscientious. Uh, uh, using a torch in certain areas of the country is a very common practice in terms of loosening rusted uh, components. Uh, and uh, it, I, I'm not telling you not to, but make sure you've got your face shield on. Make sure you've got, you don't want to be doing it bare armed. You want to have some good gloves on, probably some leather gloves. And then you want to be, again, very conscientious about how you heat that thing up. Uh, it is also possible, same thing, where you may end up heating this bleeder screw to get it loose, again, in certain parts of the country. And one of the things, by the way, I would do, I, I, I mentioned that uh, in a different part, uh, just as a side note here. Uh, personally, I, I would lubricate these threads. I would take this ble bleeder screw out, and I'd lubricate that with some silicone grease uh, just to make it easier to work on later on because ideally I'm going to do such a good job on this vehicle that this customer is going to say, hey, I want Mark to work on my vehicle again, so he's going to bring it back to me or she's going to bring it back to me. And uh, the next time I need to do uh, brake work on this, I want to be able to loosen that bleeder screw easily. So if I take this thing out, pre-lube it with some silicone grease, uh, I'm in really good shape and it's going to be very easy for me to work on the next time. And again, it's just that little bit better job. After all, my name's going on the repair order, and I want to do the best job there is.